Hey guys, Zakharlov here. So, today, even though I, we still got this sad game set up, what's about as good as it gets for a workaround is, um, does, it, does it say it on here? No, it does not. So, today, we're gonna play some Idol Quest. You can find it on the RX Game Launcher which you can download for free and play all these cool games like Adventure Quest Worlds, Epic Duel, Dragon Fable, Adventure Quest, the original, Mech Quest, Oversoul, Adventure Quest 3D, and then finally Isle Quest. And if you need to get a whole support, they got a button for that too, a link to their shop as well as hyperlink to their Instagram, their Twitter, their Facebook, and their YouTube channel. So it's all great stuff. Okay, enough of that. Let's just get back to uh, this. So as you can see, I'm at this point. I reached all these stats. I got Dage the Evil. If you don't know who that is, He's well known on Adventure Quest 3D and he's had a few cameos and some of the other stuff. But mainly in the Adventure Quest Worlds and Adventure Quest 3D. You are default adventurer. You got this knight. I uh, did not end up buying the Skull Knight or the Priest since that's a whole lot of money for those guys. When I'm right now I'm more worried about dealing damage like this. And as you can see, I can ascend with six crystals right now. But I would lose all my stuff. But I got all these this stuff. You got the vampire sword permanently unlocked. The vampire cloak. I don't have the split ravager yet. The rogue sword I literally just got. So that I'm going to have to add to the list. Since the purple rabbit, even though the drop says 3%, that little guy I feel like is only like a 1% chance because I've had to put his lane on like autopilot for about 24 hours. And sometime when I turned it on, I found the eye in there, so I don't know how often he shows up. All I know is he's a pain. We got the rope cloak and the jester stuff, jester's cape, the woodcutter's ass you don't really need, but it's good to add. The ghostly sword, circlets, sanguine blade, and blood cloak, a non bone and wolf tail. Now, something y'all should know about this, and I wish I had known this, when it says permanently unlock enemies and items. I thought that like when you per have it permanently, it would be in your inventory for next time. But what, they fi what it fails to explain for me is you have to actually, uh, you have to actually get a drop again. Which is why they give you the 10 times a chance to get for the item to drop. But I would prefer to have the item for next time. Because I'm. Let me show you guys. So, Lake. Jackalope. I'm still dealing damage to this guy and everything. But if I'm not clicking, I could very well end up losing that drop. The pixie is easy to get. But just watch this. Just let it sit, let them attack. Without any intervention, he disappears, and I get nothing. It's a royal pain in the butt. And the way I see it, you're going to be clicking a lot more than you would think you could be able to do. But at this point, though, for anyone who's new and wants to learn how to play it, I'm gonna go ahead and send Meet the Eternal Dragon of Time. And let's see, he says, Say, you're not one of those Dragon Slayers, are you? Not that I care. His face looks a little weird.
Louis era. I don't remember him looking like. Is he moving? Is he getting bigger or is he just getting closer to me? No, he's just breathing in and breathing out. Okay. Let's see. Don't no weigh allies for the next run. You may may use your crystals to primarily unlock moths. You defeated. And I actually found the last run. Each unlock mob gives you 1% overall damage. And you do 10% more damage against the mob itself. Okay, so I think what we're going to have to do is unlock these uh, mobs and stuff. Permanently unlock them so that way we can actually um, have a lot of help against them in the future for like the higher bosses. So for the time being, let's just continue on. Each unlocked item gives you 1% overall gold drops, and the item itself will drop 10 times more often. You can gain 0.1% overall damage for every crystal you earn. Let's see, current damage boost, 2.4% damage, 7% gold drops, okay. Uh, let's see what we should probably unlock. We'll unlock the Split Ravager, so that way it becomes a 3% chance instead of 3. The Rogue Sword, because, like I said, if you ever end up ascending, make sure you have enough so you can get this, 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 and this. Those key main four things... since they are a 0.1% drop. And that's really bad. Whereas if you had the permanently unlock them, they become a full 1%. And it's actually made a huge difference, even though 1% does not seem like a whole lot. But if I was you guys though, even though it's gonna take a lot of patience, Please try to get the Rogue Cloak and Rogue Sword unlocked first. Save yourself the trouble. I already had to learn the hard way with those two items. This one I'm not worried about since the Hounds have a really good one. So if I were to do this, I have a 1% chance, but they're so high and they're so easy to beat. That's why I'm not worried about that. 25% is already good. Wood Cutter's X is 100%, so 1,000% is pointless. But let's go ahead and get to the, get down here, where the problem's at. Let's see. I Oh, I've slain him 57 times, but yet I've never even seen him once, physically. Let's see. Jackalope. Pain in the butt. Flushy. Socky. Stumpy. Beware is. And this guy, he's really tough to beat, so I'm going to unlock him too. And I have two crystals left. Everyone from Arctic all the way to Vitra are just special friends. Apparently, they all drop stuff themselves, so I assume you have to fight them eventually. Except for him, apparently. And, her, and for these two. Don't know why. It is what it is. But... See, Death Knight, he's fairly easy. He may not see that way, but after a certain point, it's really not that bad. And defeat these guys plenty of times, even the ghosts. But they show up fairly often, so I wouldn't worry about it. Rat doesn't drop anything. He does. He don't drop something. I wouldn't be worried about these guys. I mean, you saw I could defeat the Pixies, so that's no issue with defeating. 
The nine tail fox, he's pretty easy too. So I guess what we're going to do is take care of Fleshy and Socky and make it a little easier amongst ourselves for that. Um, I'm pretty fine with the setup I have for right now. It may not seem like much, but it's something to deal with, I guess. So. Current permanent boost, 9% gold drops, 6.4% 6 6 damage. Okay, so that should really help. And since the Age of the Evil is the first one I unlocked, he's the one that I start off with. And as you can see, all the damage eventually goes up with each adventurer. But that's where the gear comes in and as you can see I got none and for me to get my next ascension crystal I need to get almost 300,000 gold it's a lot of work but it is what it is and as you can see it's pretty slow to get gold when you first start off so that's why you need to not worry about saving up to get him up since the next level doesn't do much, you want to worry about going to the forest, like so, and keep on fighting to get like your first item, which is a woodcutter's axe of 100% chance, giving a little more damage. But as you can see, it still does nothing, so it may not seem all that special. But where did I am is 100%, what do you expect? Not a whole lot. Okay, and, and as you can see, those two items in the bottom left, on the top left up there, that's from the purple rabbit that never seems to want to show up whenever I'm here to play it. And I don't know why, but... Next, we want to unlock Force 3 for 50 gold and fight this nine tailed fox. And since I made a 3% chance, now it's a whole lot faster to get this item. And as you can see, since it says 3%, this is this base one, it actually has a huge difference now of a boost. And now, as you can see, his damage now says 3 instead of 2. These 3 went up, but he did not. I don't know why, but it is what it is. Now we got back here, the bat, like I said, is one per, it was 0.1%, but now it's a 1% by ending up getting them both at the same time. So that's really helpful. And now his damage, even though he's still level 1, his base damage actually went up to 3, and the next level was 4. So they're all slowly going up, so to speak. And in the process, I also end up unlocking uh, cemetery. Now the ghost with a ghostly sword and a ghostly circuit. Honestly, I wouldn't expect anyone to get those on the first try. Or a few. But do make sure you permanently unlock them so you can get them at a much easier rate. So you can progress better. So I got these available, those two sets. But I still need to go get back and get the purple rabbit. Man, is my eye bothering me? It's looking a little red. Oh well. I'll have to take care of that layer. Let's see here. Oh yeah, that's right. So right now, even though he's still only level one, as you can, see, and his damage is three, my clicker damage is now eleven instead. So I'm end up doing most of the work 
myself. So we're gonna go to uh, the cemetery maze. Maze. And work on the on the gesture set. Forget to drop that. I think it was a pumpkin. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it was a pumpkin. Giant skull. He doesn't drop anything himself. I wouldn't worry about it much. But he does drop some gold though, which is nice. Let's see, nothing there. Now we're gonna fight the Death Knight. Let me tell you, when I first fought this guy, I was beginning to wonder if it was ever going to end. Because until I actually, I actually got these boosts for the items, I was only doing two damage. Two. Just two per click. By the time I was done fighting him just the first time, I felt like my arm was gonna fall off. I hated it. It hurts. But as you can see for right now, when you, once you beat him, you get a huge amount of gold. So now what we're gonna do is we're going to get Dage up a few levels and we're going to get the adventure up a little bit as well. So that way, you know what? Let's unlock the river too. Now that we can go back to the Death Knight, it's gonna go a whole lot fat. Well, not a whole lot faster until their damage is almost instantaneous, but it still makes a difference. And just constantly click, key, click, key, click, key, click. Uh, why let's. There we go. That's better. Wow, that eye is really driving me nuts. Yikes. Oh, hey, he actually dropped something. Nice. Nice. Spawn 5% more. Oh, that's good for those that don't want to show their face, but still only 5%. Oh well. Let's. Uh, Pixie's fairly decent. Only other thing is like the Woodcutter Axe and a Pinger. The Jackalope. Still rather undoable right now. But that's only because we're not like how I was in the original level. So we're just gonna have to keep on getting that these guys strong. Yes, I did say the word strong. Not strong, strong to get this taken care of. So let's just kill this death knight real quick. Get these guys leveled up and then I'll call and then I'll just call it for the night so I can get my eye washed off. Uh you know what? Let's do one more. Now as you can see, now that they just actually gone stronger, it's even faster now than what it was before. Not by much, but every bit counts. Because his damage is almost equivalent to five clicks. Oh, now he died. Okay, we'll get him up. Okay, and uh, before I go, if you know you're going to be sitting around for a while, the best area I can recommend with just two adventurers is this area. 54 gold is not a lot. But if you're saying if you're letting it sit, you can really get yourself a lot of gold towards ascension. I mean, I just did this uh, video, and already I went from almost three hundred thousand to almost to ten. But I know it's one of Death Knight kills, but now it should be a lot faster. Now they're doing more damage to actually kill these monsters. Alright guys, uh, that's how I'll quest for you. I probably might do another video for this game later on. 
maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But I'm going to keep my options open. So if you guys are interested, let me know. Feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. All right. And um, I'll see you soon. Bye, guys.